mouth is a large, dangerous, and pugnacious snake. This snake and its close relatives range over the coastal plain and up this Mississippi River Valley of the southeastern United States from eastern Texas to the very southeastern corner of Virginia. The Florida cottonmouth is found throughout the state of Florida and on most of its barrier islands. This snake is still extremely common in some areas and often found in the flatwoods around the Reptile Discovery Center. All right, so we're not walking around here. <laughs> because of their large size, copious amounts of venom, and disagreeable nature, cottonmouths can, in fact, be very dangerous. Although the snake is almost never fatal, the bite can and does require antivenom and can result in significant tissue destruction and other complications if not treated properly. Cottonmouths can grow up to six feet in length, although three and a half feet is about average for an adult. They make excellent captives, and many of the hundred or so housed at Mintoxin were bred, born, and raised here at the lab. They often live over 20 years in captivity, and they are excellent venom producers. As the snake is captured and approaches the collecting glass, we sometimes move his head past the glass rapidly in an effort to give the snake some visual stimulus and induce a bite. Sometimes, as the snake bites, you can see the venom gland just behind the eye contract. This venom is used in the preparation of profat antivenom, which is used to treat bites from all of North America's pit vipers. Although true aggression in cotton mouths is rare, and most of the stories are exaggerated, this snake will sometimes stand his ground, and when approached, he will gape, open his mouth, and show the cotton white interior giving the snake his name, Cottonmouth, and warning an intruder not to get too close. Southeastern North Carolina throughout the coastal plain to extreme southeastern Louisiana throughout all of Peninsula Florida and many of its barrier islands. Unfortunately, the eastern diamondback has been extirpated in parts of its former range and is in decline in many areas where it was once common. This magnificent reptile is found in a variety of habitats and often coexists with a large number of other species in gopher tortoise burrows. Pine flatwoods and the border areas between upland habitats and low-lying swamp are some of the eastern diamondbacks' favorite. Diamondbacks feed exclusively on warm-blooded prey with rabbits, rats, and squirrels all being normal parts of an adult's diet. The Eastern Diamondback is capable of injecting huge amounts 
of a very toxic venom. A serious bite by the snake to an adult, or even worse, to a child, can rapidly be fatal if not treated promptly and properly with antivenom. The Reptile Discovery Center and Mentoxin Venom Laboratories work closely with one or two other institutions providing this venom for the antivenom project in North America. Diamondback rattlesnakes are delicate captives. Extreme care is taken in handling these snakes both for safety and to ensure a supply of venom for antiserum. Mentoxin is always in need of this species and we work diligently on our captive breeding program <coughs> hoping to ensure a stable and productive colony of Eastern Diamondbacks. <laughs>